is therefore insufficient in law to charge any Christian to obey it. And more than this, the immunity of the church is promised both in Magna Carta and in the king's own coronation oath. And when we die, and you are sent to heaven for doing your conscience, and I am sent to hell for not doing mine, will you come with me for fellowship? No, Your Grace. I'm not going to help you. Then good night, Master Moore. Have I not promised I'll leave you out of it? God damn it, he was the only judge since Plato who didn't accept bribes! I think that when statesmen forsake their own private conscience for the sake of their public duties, they lead their country by a short route to chaos. You threaten like a dockside bully. How should I threaten? Like a minister of state with justice. Oh, justice is what you're threatened with. Then I am not threatened. It is not for the supremacy that you have sought my blood, but because I would not bend to the marriage. I cannot serve your grace in this great matter of the queen. I have no queen! Cromwell is asking questions about you. He's continually asking questions about you and your opinions. That's one of his sources. Of course, that's one of my servants. You're my friend. Hear us? Your majesty. Thank God I have a friend for my chancellor. This country is planted thick with laws from coast to coast. Man's laws, not God's. And if you cut them down, and you're just the man to do it, do you really think you could stand upright in the winds that would blow then? I die His Majesty's good servant, but God's first. <laughs>